the hundred dollar bill. The most counterfeited money denomination in the world keeps the globe moving. This is what 10 grand looks like. Enough for a great vacation or to buy a used car. Approximately one year of work for the average human on earth. You're looking at one million dollars. Not as big a pile as you thought. Still, this is 92 years of work for the average human being. This is $100 million. Plenty to go around for everyone. Fits nicely on a standard size palette. $1 billion. You'll definitely need some help robbing a bank. Now we're getting serious. And the Mac Daddy. $1 trillion dollars. Now when the US government speaks about a 1.7 trillion dollar deficit, this is the volumes of cash the US government borrowed in 2010 alone to run itself. Now keep in mind it is double stacked pallets of 100 million dollars each full of hundred dollar bills. Now you're going to need a lot of trucks to freight this around. If you spend one million dollars a day since Jesus was born, you would not have spent one trillion dollars by now. Unless the US government fixes the budget, US national debt will top $15 trillion by Christmas of 2011. But the numbers get much, much worse. The US unfunded liabilities has reached $114.5 trillion. Now to the right you can see the pillar of cold hard $100 bills that will dwarf the World Trade Center and Empire State Building. Both at one point were the tallest buildings in the world. The $114.5 trillion super skyscraper is the amount of money the US government knows it does not have to fully fund the Medicare, Medicare prescription drug program, social security, military, and civil servant pensions. It is the money the USA knows it will not have to pay all its bills. Now if you live in the USA, this is your personal credit card bill. You are responsible along with everyone else to pay this back. The citizens of the USA created the US government to serve them. This is what the US government has done while serving the people.